All right guys, so I think we got to the caves. I see one little cave right there and I see another little cave right there. Look guys, and it appears that we're getting to the part where they told us that it looked like a maze, that it goes and it goes and it goes into a part where it just gets so small and then you're not able to get through there. After walking about a good, good hour, good hour, 10 minutes, 20 minutes or so we came to the house of the man of the alien good morning guys uh welcome to a new adventure today we're in a creek bed and we're headed to a maze right here in the mountains i was contacted by a subscriber sent us a message and he was like come check this place out so here we are guys we're gonna go check out this maze on top of that he just told us that there's a house up here where they actually made a an episode in Discovery Channel about aliens. The men of aliens. Let's go check it out. And as always, guys, we're with Oscar. What up, people? And David back yeah, there. Baby. Yeah, baby. Let's go check out this adventure. Let's get it going. This is the path today, guys. Honestly, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm so familiar with the place. Uh, like I've told y'all before, right there where I live, the mountains behind, I have walked them a lot with my dad when I was young. And it looks so similar. At the end of the day, it's a part of the mountain, so I'm assuming that's why the similarity but look, it's amazing. Holes everywhere. The walls. And like I told y'all, we're walking on the dry river. Let's go see what this adventure brings us into. Look at the beauty of being out here, guys. Amazing. Wow, guys, look at this beauty. As y'all know, I'm always amazed with walls like this. But the real beauty of this is the story this wall tells us. Why do I say that? Because look, look at all the layers. You can actually see the layers going up and up and up. And that was within time and time and time. Little by little, that's how the mountains are formed. That's how all of this. And look, it truly does look amazing. Look at that tree. Wow. Here comes Oscar. And let's keep going. Even though it's flat, it does feel like it's tiring. Why? Uh, you're walking through river sand. This is nothing but sand. So when you step, you're, you actually sink down a little bit and it makes it a little bit more tiring. Like right now, I feel like sprinting, taking off, but I'm gonna hold. Let's keep going, guys. Let's see what else we see. All right, guys, so I think we got to the caves. I see one little cave right there and I see another little cave right there. I think right now we're gonna work our way up that way, go into that one, but that one I do see a little bit difficult unless we climb to the top, tie a rope, and then work our way to the bottom. I don't know how deep they can be, but let's go check them out and let's go see if we can get in there. That one looks really amazing though. All right guys, so let's go up here. Let's go check out that little cave. Now, well, Guillermo was telling us that as little kids, they used to come up here. And this cave, they named it Don, Don Senon's Cave because the owner of this property is the one that, according, made this cave. And I'm guessing the guy used to use it to get out of out of the ranch life, you know, where it was all populated by people. He used it to come out here, get stress relief, and 
why not look at this guys look at the beauty i could just imagine coming in here sitting down and that's my view meditating and connecting with mother earth but yeah look it looks chiseled out like oscar was telling me i don't know if they still come and try to dig in this place thinking that maybe there's a treasure in here right here in all the old towns and i say old town because i don't think i told y'all but this is a town near where i live la venta del astillero and all the towns around here it's said that there's hidden treasures all over that there's people that were really old and just decided to hide their treasures you know but look at this beauty guys it looks really amazing and look what i was telling you the story they tells us layer by layer by layer it really is a beauty guys it smells a little bit like wano so i imagine there is bats in here look that hole goes that way I've seen on some videos that when you dig up on holes, sometimes it gets you to a place that's a little bit further and then bigger. But yeah, that is definitely one and I can smell it. Look at the beauty, guys. It's truly amazing. And I see this like a little couch. Me being Don Senon, I would come out here, even sit down, lay down, admire the beauty, get away from the town civilization you know a lot of times we have to do that guys we have to get out of the place we're at and connect with mother earth look I can't really tell what it says but it's from S 18, I doubt it, 1820, I doubt it, guys. But look, it was in there. It's a small K, but it really is a beauty, it's amazing. Look at this, guys. All right, let's see if we can make our way to the other little side cave. If we can, I'll show y'all in a minute. And if we're not able to, well, I'll let y'all know as well. I hope y'all enjoy it, guys. Let's keep going on this adventure. I love showing y'all these type of walls. And look. It's a beauty. The way it looks. I don't know why, for some particular reason, always when I come across walls like this, they catch my attention big time. Layer after layer after layer. It really is a beauty. Whew. We separated a little bit from the boys. If I'm not mistaken, Oscar's down there. David's back there. And we're exploring the area. Seeing, besides what they told us, what else we can find. But look. Getting closer over here. Look at this big wall. I don't know the right term for that wall, but that, that is amazing. That's a beauty, guys. Mother Earth is a beauty, guys. I think we've been walking for about a good 40 minutes, 50. It's a bit more tiring. It's a bit more tiring because of the sand. I don't know why it came up to my mind or my head back when we were young that they used to send us to do drills in the sand. It is tiring. But look guys, amazing. Two big tires. 
at the very bottom of this. It's like the Grand Canyon, <laughs> but in Mexico. Look at the size of these pine cones, guys. Oh, here's another one. Oh, there's a bunch. If it would have been Christmas time, I would have definitely took some for the Christmas tree. Look, all the dirt is really loose, so it makes it a little bit hard to get up here. But nothing that we can't do. Ain't that right, Oscar? Yep. Right. Oh, there's the house. So we are here, guys. After walking about a good, good hour, good hour, 10 minutes, 20 minutes or so, we came to the house of the man of the alien. So according to what they told us, the guy that lived here, well, he came across so many aliens out here in the middle of this forest because if you can tell, look, nothing but forest out here. And the guy lived out here by himself. And it was said that he would see a lot of aliens. A lot of aliens would show to this place, this is specific house. And Discovery Channel, according to what they told us, they set up a bunch of cameras all around. And they actually did a documentary about this. I don't know what all took place here. Honestly, the first time I've heard it. But <laughs> as soon as they said aliens, we were like, we're there. So let's go check this house out. Let's see what it looks like in from the inside. See what the vibe feels like. I imagine this is where they would store water. Right here in Mexico, they call it an aljibe. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, over there is just a hole for water. But look, like usually when we come to these places, it's all graffiti, vandalized. And, well, yeah. I guess it's part of it, but it shouldn't be. Just a little kitchen, a big room, pointing outside. I imagine there was a metal window right here, you know, and I imagine putting a window here, sitting down, and sounds funny, but seeing the flying saucer just come down. I look, the house is not too old because there's actually tile flooring in here. Another small room. And yeah, that's pretty much it from this house. Yeah, guys. Oh, look. I was saying that they used, they used it to store water over there, but no, this is where they would store water. This is what I was referring to as an aljibar. Somebody just passed over there with the horse. That would make it a lot easier to get around. Look guys, and it appears that we're getting to the part where they told us that it looked like a maze, that it goes and it goes and it goes into a part where it just gets so small and then you're not able to get through there. Let's go see how big this maze is. But look, as soon as you come in, it's like walking through a little riverbed. The walls that I told y'all that I love so much. And it's pure amazing. And like you could definitely tell this is where a heavy, heavy uh, current of water runs through. Why? Because it's eating up all the bottom. Look. Amazing. This looks beautiful. Look how amazing, guys. What I keep telling y'all. Layer of layer. Look, there's obsidian. There's red rock. There's yellow rock. There's another layer. More and more. All the way to the top, guys. Let's see what there, where this leads us to. Remember, they told us it was a maze. I don't know about y'all, but me personally, I have never been in a maze, not even in a maze made of cornfield. I've heard of those. I lived in Texas, so. But let's go check it out, guys. Oscar's right up ahead. He took the lead. 
I'm right here second and it's just the beauty guys the unfortunate part about it is that right now the good thing it's not raining season but usually they advise you to be careful in places like this when it's in raining season why because maybe it's not raining here but maybe the town that's uh 20 kilometers up ahead it's raining so what's gonna happen the water's gonna start flowing down one of these days um i'm gonna go do and record a video over there by my house so i can show you in those mountains that i tell y'all that i used to go as a little kid and it looks you'll see the similarity of how it looks exactly the same guys let's keep going look over there it looks like a big turn let me let oscar get a little bit up ahead and i'll keep going in a minute look guys you can tell people come up here because they come and they leave their name they leave some kind of wording I don't want to think they're rituals that they're doing out here, but you never know. Let's see if we're able to make some of the names out. Yeah, that's a that's a George for sure. Oh, that my name is right even down there, Miguel. <laughs> By the way, yeah, that's my real name, guys. But everybody knows me as Billy. <laughs> and right here at Super Billy Explorers. I wonder how Oscar got around this, but I'm going this way. Ugh. I think Oscar probably went through the bottom. Let's hope we don't fall. And if we fall, you are going to see me fall. Look. Oh my goodness, this makes it a little bit tough to get around here. Um. I think I'm gonna go back down. But if I do, here we go. I don't think I'm gonna go up the, the wood log because I don't think it would be strong. Let's see. It actually is. Whew. Hope I don't fall. <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, all that just to go down again. <laughs> oh, and I got to go up that way. I knew I should have stayed on the top, but look, it's not that easy. <sighs> on top of that slippery. Uh, I was going to run and jump up, but let's just walk. We'll step right here. Put her elbow there and get up there. It's about two meters, meter and a half. I am tired, but this place is amazing, guys. Guillermo, appreciate for letting me know, bro. And I don't think I've done this on any of my videos, guys, but to all my subscribers, uh, thanks. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. It really means a lot. Thank you guys. And if you're new to the video, don't forget to subscribe guys. So y'all can see the journeys and the adventures we go on. And it just keeps going. Guillermo told me that it gets to a point that you can barely fit in there. He said that it was like about a two hour walk. And look this way. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna have to take that backpack off because it looks like it does get really narrow. And it feels really fresh and cool in here, guys. Okay, I know what this is as well. This from the mountain, the water comes down, and this is where it falls and it keeps going into the river. Look, look at the layers. Amazing, guys. You never know what you'll find right here in these rocks. I've seen some videos where they find some amazing stuff. Amazing rocks, fossils, you name it. And 
let's keep going guys look all this catches my attention like why was it dug up like that if the river's coming from that way you know what i mean but we'll just have to keep wondering <laughs> All right, let's keep walking, guys. Let's see how far this place leads us to. And I'll keep showing you because if I'm not mistaken, he said to follow this for about two hours. So let's go check it out. Also, a small detail that I'm just remembering that Guillermo told us. I'm not sure if it was over there where I told you it was the Grand Canyon. Or somewhere around here but he said that there was a cross at the very top and he said what happened there is that a couple they cut they came out to have a little date out here in the wilderness and the guy fell from all the way to the top he passed away and they left that cross in memory of him whoa But yeah, guys, it just keeps going. Uh, yeah, I feel like Tarzan, but I don't feel like falling to the ground today. <laughs> I was going to run through that. And look, Oscar, Oscar said it before me. But as I was walking over here, I was like thinking inside my head, I was like, I imagine when it's raining season, how it would look here. Why do I say that? Because right here, this particular area, it looks like water would be accumulated. And you could have like a little pool, a little pond right here to actually get wet, sit down, you know. But again, I've never came in raining season. I don't know how strong the current is, but I could just imagine. And look, all this curve right here, it's because of the water. Amazing, guys. Let's keep going, see how far this is. Ugh. Look, guys, and as we keep walking, we come across areas like these, like I told you. It looks like a little pool area where water will accumulate. And you can actually come. Wow, and this is solid rock. You can actually come in and bathe yourself. And this area is also a pre-Hispanic area, guys. There's a Indian cemetery not too far away from here. And, well, yeah, they lived all these areas. Look, guys, I know how anything catches our attention. But I don't know, that looks like a hole. Let's go check it out. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but. Now nah, it's another drop like the one earlier where the water just comes and it drops right here. But we weren't gonna go without seeing it. Look guys, we're deeper into this little maze and it just keeps going. Right now I stopped because I, I thought I heard a roar from something I froze but then I didn't hear nothing um, this area where we're at it's part big big time part of the Primavera and not too long ago there was a sighting of some pumas out here so yeah definitely gonna be on the lookout for those <laughs> but look we keep staring at these walls trying to find a fossil some pretty looking rock I've seen jams being pulled out but so far we haven't found nothing let's keep going guys it truly is amazing the vibe out here it's a lot different than a lot of the places we go it feels more relaxed more chill harmony but let's keep going let's see how far we can get And look, this is an area where the water comes trembling from all that side. And it just crashes into that wall. And that's why that big hole is on there. If you can tell, if you can tell little by little, the water's eating up the mountain. 
the strength that the water has when it comes down the stream. All right, guys, we've been walking for about two hours, and as we walk right here, it does start to look a little bit more like a maze. Why? Because of how narrow this part is. And if you look above you, well, there's nothing but wall, and on top it looks like there's the mountain. Um, we're told, I think, that if I'm not mistaken, that there was a little hole towards the end, and it would catch your attention, and you wanted to go in there. So we're trying to get to that hole. We don't know how much more we have to walk. But I'll let y'all know. Uh, we plan on going on another exploration a little bit later. And I say exploration because we're not sure. But if we're able to discover it and find it. Y'all are going to be amazed. Let's keep going guys. Let's see how far we're going to go. Honestly it feels really fresh down here. Even though up there. It's really sunny. For some reason we go back, I'll let y'all know. But look. I get the part that of mace. Look, it looks looks weird. It looks like like you're in a maze. Look guys, the whole scenery just changes as you walk through here. It feels really fresh. It feels really cool. Look, it's getting smaller and smaller. Let's keep going. And look, guys, the narrowness keeps going. Oscar's over there. And I see him kind of climbing now. So I imagine I'm going to have to get to do the same. He told us that it gets to a point that you could barely fit through there what caught my attention is that there's a hole up there i can't see how i can climb up there but i did whoa this is what we got to go up and i think it gets more narrow up there let's see in a minute if we're gonna be able to continue or not. Okay guys, so right there where Oscar got to, that's as far as we were able to get. Right there, there was some trees and we had to climb really a lot, a lot to the top. And well, I don't think we'll be able to do so today. Uh, I do wanna thank Guillermo though. This was a very, very beautiful place. And interesting uh, i really caught my mind most of all the house of the alien the man of the alien let's see where dave is coming uh at what we're gonna do but i think we're about to start heading back guys i'll let y'all know in a while all right guys we're back out of that supposedly maze there was just uh we're just following the river upstream guys we're already heading back and I'll say bye to everyone in a while. All right, guys, that's it from this adventure. We found Don Senon's, Senon Caves. And we went to go see the house of the man of the alien. Like I told you, the maze wasn't really like a maze, but we were out here adventuring. All right, guys, we're out of here. Oscar? Yes. Dave is somewhere back here. He needs to catch up. Alright guys, till next time. Peace.